We got some very cool news today that also happens to fall on Indigenous Peoples Day, which I don't think was by chance, and that is a new iteration of Hawkeye. Now, this is from the Ultimates universe, uh, which I think started in 2023, if I remember correctly, um, and it's a new version of Hawkeye. Uh, Charlie Ramsey is a Native American who identifies as non-binary and two-spirit, so falling under that queer umbrella. And I think the design is extremely cool. When I saw this, I was like, all right, this is pretty neat. Uh, and I wanted to do a little bit of digging. I hear the Ultimate Universe is really solid. I haven't had a chance to read it myself, but I will be diving into it very soon because I'm feeling like this, this uh, new line of comics is really getting fleshed out and I just haven't had the chance to check it out. However, this is very cool. Uh, shout out to them for doing this. We don't have a lot of characters who represent this demographic in comics, so... Uh, any, any increase in that is a great increase, in my opinion. Uh, also, it seems like a lot of people, as I was doing research for this video, are very excited about this. People that are reading this particular line of comics seem to be on board with this. But there's a lot of people who are just reacting to shit on the internet, reacting to stuff as they do, and they've decided to get outraged about this and completely miss the point of not only this character or of who this character represents. Before we dive too far into that stuff, let's just take a look at some of the details about the character in case I missed anything. There is a little article here. Um, so it's Ultimates number five. Charlie Ramsey is Hawkeye on Earth 6160, which is the uh, new Marvel Ultimate line, which again was created in 2023. Uh, Non-binary, identifying as Two-Spirit, and forgive me if I pronounce this incorrectly and you, you can correct me in the comments uh comes from the Uglala band of the native american lakota nation tribe so if i got that wrong i do apologize uh please feel free to correct me and my bad grammar in the comments below now this version of hawkeye is an additional hawkeye they're not replacing any other version of the character simply in this universe that mantle of hawkeye uh is held by this person and again Based on what I'm seeing, the people that have had a chance to read the story, they seem to be pretty happy with what's happening. Let's take a look at what Two-Spirit means. So up here it says, Two-Spirit is a contemporary pan-Indian umbrella term used by some indigenous North Americans to describe Native people who fulfill a traditional third gender or other gender variant social role in their community. From like the concept of Two-Spirit, from what I could tell, because I did a little research on this last year, um, has existed for a very long time. It's just modern language and um, modern culture has had to catch up with what this was for the community, uh, what this represents for this community. Now, if you are somebody who is Native American, indigenous, or have any information on this that you would like to provide, please feel free to do that in the comments below. I'll probably be talking more about this in the coming days. But just like with any announcement of any queer character or marginalized character in comic books that is carrying on a legacy mantle or being introduced as a Elseworlds, a what if, or another universe story. Anytime it comes along, we get a bunch of pushback and a lot of it doesn't really make sense. One of them we got from one of the usual suspects, which is Melody Mack here, who went on to say, AKA a mentally ill man, lol. Now I'm not engaging with Melanie, just because this is engagement farming for her. Um, she does this because she gets clicks, she gets hits, she gets replies, she gets responses, she gets quote tweets. I would suggest screenshot and then share um, if you're gonna do that because people that do this, they're just engaging for money. Uh, Elon has now made it possible for them to monetize hatred and outrage. You guys know how it is. Like I, I, I feel like I'm preaching to the choir here, but it is about money for her, just like it is for a lot of people. Nerd Roddick has admitted it when he talks about his Miles Morales tweets. So that's what they're doing. And I know it's frustrating because this is just nonsense. It's it's garbage, basically. Um, not only is Charlie, just Charlie is not a man. Uh, again, they identify as two spirit. Uh, but mentally ill was another term that has been thrown around to describe anybody who is queer, which was outdated. But these folks, these bigots desperately want to bring it back. They want to bring it back in full force. So they're going to keep saying it uh, because that's who they are as people. We have one here from this is one that I saw. It goes uh, clown world, uh, uh, middle finger to clown world, non-binary entitled woke shit. I have a, another statement I want to make about the term woke with after the next tweet we look at. Hawkeye was one of the first examples of a disabled superhero, and this is how they treated him. How about make a new character? Number one, it is a new character. Hawkeye is a mantle. It is a superhero mantle, which has been shared over multiple characters. Clint is the character in that mantle that you're talking about. This is not Clint. This is Charlie. 
separate character wearing the mantle of Hawkeye. So they're not erasing any of Clint's stuff. Clint is still there. Clint is still Hawkeye, but you're trying to play some sort of oppression Olympics and say that, oh, well, this one thing is being erased by this thing. No, it's an expansion of that uh, umbrella of Hawkeye and bringing Charlie in is a great way to do that. It's a great way to tell multiple stories. We've already established that bringing in new characters doesn't work. You guys keep saying that, but you don't truly mean it. Riri came in as Ironheart, not a variant of Iron Man. Even though she was inspired by Iron Man, she was not Iron Man. So she came in as Ironheart, brand new character, brand new superhero mantle, and you guys still got mad about that. So all of this idea of like bringing in a new character doesn't matter. If Charlie wore the same colors as Hawkeye and called themselves Hawkshot or something like that, you would still have the same reaction it's just the fact that the title hawkeye is being passed over to charlie that you now have this little like this thing where you can go oh well they're erasing hawkeye well they're not they're not erasing hawkeye and lastly before i go i want to talk about cosmic book news which is another awful propaganda site that that makes money off of outrage and scamming people out of their time with all these bullshit takes bad editorials fake stories things like that well, over here, they're just continuing that outrage and that hate parade with, you can't make this up. Now Marvel has replaced Hawkeye again. Again, they know it's not replaced. They know this, but they're using the term replace because it's going to get people upset. They're also putting Charlie next to the movie version of Hawkeye, which again is because the comic book version of Hawkeye isn't popular enough to get people mad. So they have to use the movie version because that is the one that people are going to click on. Uh, they're going to think, oh, well, is, are they replacing Hawkeye in the movies with this other character? Uh, so it's, it's disingenuous, misleading. This time with a woke, non-binary Indian. So there we go. A bunch of just incorrect things to say there that's so first of all indian we're talking about an indigenous person a native um indian we know is not a term that is used in modern language to describe people who are indigenous to this part of the world but here we go comic book news doing it um woke is now being used as a slur it's 100 percent a slur uh, i would not be surprised if within the next couple years it does get classified that way simply because it is used against every diverse thing there is it is just a an all-encompassing term that you throw out when you're talking negatively about something diverse uh you know this community has appropriated this term taken it away from what it actually meant uh years ago and transformed it into something else and they've done it successfully and so that's why they're so empowered to take other terms and also do the same thing to them woke is just a slur for them now to be used against anything and and everything diverse there is no actual appropriate way for queer people to exist in media i've asked several people this question before what would be okay what's acceptable what's wrong with the way it's happening now a lot of times they can't name they can't give me a reason they can't explain to me how you would have a queer person present in media without it feeling like they're forcing that person in there because there is no actual way for that to occur for this community it will never ever happen i will never see them post up and go see this is the way you do it this is how you do diversity they'll never do that there's no market for that there's no reason for them to do that all it does is pull away from their grifty scammy ways their outrage stuff they cannot do that once they concede to one thing then they have to start going back and retroact retroactively look at all the things that they have claimed are bad in the past this is similar to the trans clone trooper thing that we talked about last week. I'm gonna do another video on that tomorrow. Uh, but you have a character that was introduced two years ago and nothing has happened. There's been no massive disasters with Star Wars because of this character. But they seem to think that this the character, the trans character being introduced somehow is a detriment to Star Wars, even though we know, we know for a fact that it's not. Um, Anyway, this, I think this is a win. I like this version of Hawkeye. I think it sounds like a cool version, and I can't wait to see how they are in the comics. I'm going to start reading it this week, and then I'll be able to give more context and uh, my thoughts on the entire storyline as it stands. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, and are you reading the Ultimates line, and what do you think of this? Uh, give me some feedback.